Hi everybody, welcome. So for those of you who've never been to my channel before, welcome. This is Ruth at artfulstamping.co.uk and we're going to stamp a floral wreath. Okay, so this afternoon, I didn't, I didn't tell you this guys, but um, I was asked by the Stampin' Up! UK manager to do a presentation on doing these stamped one sheet wonders. So at one o'clock this afternoon, I did a live on Facebook, well, Zoom via, Facebook via Zoom. And there was about 90 demonstrators, I think it was, that I counted at one point, were watching me doing my stamped one sheet wonders. So some of them had seen me do, do it before, some of them already follow me, so it was great to have their company over there. And then I think I may have gained a couple of new followers, in, you know, by doing it. So welcome if you're, if you haven't... Um, seen me do this before or if you're new to my channel it's great to have you uh for those of you who haven't been to my channel before we're, we're a friendly group so please say hello we always love to meet new people we like to find out where you're from and how big your craft room is and you know what you like eating and what your favorite recipes are and we talk about all sorts of things here i mean generally we try and be a polite bunch uh, we try not to offend anybody, we try not to be unkind, but uh, we like to have a laugh. So sometimes we might say things that might seem funny to us, but not funny to somebody else, or somebody else might say something that's funny, but, uh, or yeah, anyway, you know what I mean. So we try and be kind to each other. Right, so I have got on my desk these colours that I use this afternoon, and I thought, you know what, I'd like to see all of these in one go, and let's, let's see. Um, right, and then we also have a really bunch, a really nice bunch of stamps on here. And I thought I'm just going to have fun and create something that makes me happy because, just because, isn't that what stamping's all about? Well, not always, but you know what I mean. It's, uh, <laughs> it's about, you know, making you smile and enjoying the process and all that. So I'm just, I've got my lap, my husband's laptop just inside of me, but I need to turn the sound off so that I'm not echoing through the room. Uh, get you guys up on screen so I can see your comments, your lovely comments. And I thought we would just stamp on here. So I've got a piece of very vanilla 12 by 12 cardstock. Yes, Stampin' Up! do sell 12 by 12. Uh, they sell packs of vanilla, white, and also uh, packs of the colour families. So you can purchase, like, you get two of each. So that's quite fun if you don't want to do. Because you can, yes. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Martina. Hi, Ellie, Steph. Yes, yeah, so some of you who are demonstrators would have watched me this. If you're in the UK, that is. Yes, Esther was trying to share it with demonstrators that aren't in the UK. And it, of course, didn't work because they're not allowed to be on that group. But... Um, so, hi Valerie, Melanie, Gina, Steph. Isn't that funny? Gina and Steph come in at the same time, the Gibson girls. That, is always, that always seems to happen, doesn't it? You guys arrive at the same time. <laughs> wow, this will be worth watching. Yeah, Christine, I'm going to amalgamate all the stamps from this afternoon. Right, let's just do some happy stamping with this to start off with. So, this is the lovely hydrangea stamp. And um, what have we got here? Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I haven't got the purple that I used on here. I did use Gorgeous Grape this afternoon. I think that would be going a bit too far, wouldn't it? Yeah, we won't go there. I might pick, bring the green over, though. Or well, maybe I'll just stick with what I've got. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just see what happens. So do say hello if you're new to the gang. We always love to welcome new folks. Just going to go around and stump a bit of this hydrangea. And this is just so that you get a bit of a mark on the page so it doesn't feel so scary. You've got it down. You've got a bit of an outline of where you're heading. But it doesn't actually really matter greatly how you do this bit. Okay, this is just so that you've got a bit of background. And, uh, oh, actually, I might keep this one open. I'm thinking, what about... Oh, what 
about some leaves. Might be nice to have a few leaves in this colour as well. latest comments oh I've, isn't that funny with this guess you weren't in, no you weren't linda the us uk demonstrators you we know what trouble you people are linda and martina <laughs> no i'm kidding it's basically just a facebook group for uk demonstrators so you know in america you'll have your groups for you know whoever and the germans have theirs and whatever so um they have facebook group regional facebook groups so this was just for the... Anyway, you get to see me nearly every day of the year, so stop complaining. I um, I was sharing my time and love with the UK demos this afternoon. So, And if you're new to the channel and you wonder why on earth I'm being so rude to those lovely people, it's because I know them. Yes, and, uh, you know, they're quite rude back to me too. And it's all a bit of a bit of fun. So anyway, lovely to see you, Linda. Lovely to see you, Martina. Uh, yeah, like we said, we weren't invited. No, you weren't invited. You troublesome lot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then wait until Cindy arrives. That's when the trouble begins. Right, there we go. There's a few leaves on there. Oh, thank you, Margaret. Yeah, I managed to do three in an hour. Can you believe it, guys? And I did a wreath. I'll show you them later. She's never rude. I'm the rude one. <laughs> right, so that was just Coastal Cabana. I, I must try and do a wreath one day where I just use maybe one or two colours and see what happens. Okay, I'm trying to think what else to put on here now. Ooh. Let's just some, do something crazy. Do something crazy. Let's try a bit of textured impressions. Oh, thank you, Ellie. Hi, Bonnie from Minnesota. How do I share? Uh, there's somewhere in front of you there is a arrow. Oh, how are you watching me? Are you watching me on a device or a laptop or? Hi Bree. Mary, whatever device you're sharing on, I'm sure there is somebody on here who can help you. And there's lots of different device users on, users on here. YouTube on iPhone. Okay, so any iPhone users in the house, please. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Steph. So there should be an X somewhere on the ch near the chat. So you close that down and then the little arrow, the sort of like the curvy arrow, you should be able to share. Duna's Android. Okay. Well, it's the same with Android, I think. So I'm going to aim this dark outline stamp on top of the grey that I've done because I'm kind of almost doing reverse colouring in where I've stamped the grey and now I'm stamping the the blue. Now I'm looking at that thinking, mm, should I do another little flower there? Maybe one there and maybe one up there. Going where I've done the burlap see technically I could do one there just there maybe 
Okay, I might. I think I might go over the burlap bit there. Let me clean this off. Grey back again. So I'm doing kind of faux colouring in, people, because I can't be bothered to do colouring tonight. Yeah, so please do share this out with anybody who you think might enjoy it. It's always great to have people's company on here. You know, I, I often say to people watching, see, this is a bit of a meeting place. You know, you can get your friends in, have a bit of a chat. And I don't mind, you know, what you want to talk about, as long as it's nothing too risque. And uh, just have a good old time. You know, use this as a meeting place where you can watch me stamp and have a bit of a natter, meet some people from around the world explore your experience of you know people and it's just such a great community of creatives and if you want to share anything that you've made after watching my videos please do head to facebook and go to artful stamping space and you can just share there any pictures of anything you've been inspired by so it's generally not a chit chat group it's more of a kind of picture group so Go, go over there. You shared a purple dragonfly stamp in. Ooh, cool. Oh, you shared it too, purple. Oh, sorry, I thought you were saying you were sharing a purple dragonfly. That sounded amazing. Mmm. Yes, I do love that burlap look, Martina. Right, do I want to use any more of these? Mm. Yeah, but I don't want to do too dark a colour. So I'm going to come in now with Seaside Spray because I don't want to sort of overpower what I'm doing. So let's do some Seaside Spray in here. We can have a little cluster there. Oh dear, what did I use on this stamp for? <laughs> it's coming out pinky purpley. Oh, it was purple this afternoon. This always happens, doesn't it? I have one rogue stat colour that it's like a completely made up colour because I didn't clean my stamp off. Oh wow. Oh wow. Just don't tell the stamp police, it'll be fine. Thank you, Mary. There we go. It's got a nice little cluster there, one little there, one there. And, oh, might fit another little flower in there. And, oh, can you hear that rain outside, everybody? We have had thunder and lightning again tonight. It's been quite exciting. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, you're such a darling. You are such a darling. So kind of you. Oh, what is that character you've sent me? What is he? Oh, he's holding little fans. Oh, is he like a samurai or something? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> so if anyone's wondering what that is, that little thing jumping around there, Linda's just super chat me. So she's just, it's like a tip thing on YouTube. So if anyone ever wants to support me financially, you can either do it through super chat or going to my PayPal me button. But um, generally that's for folks who can't purchase stamps from me because they're not in the UK or in Europe. So. But I'm quite happy for you to watch for free. It's not something I demand from my followers. It's just a very kind gesture that helps me keep myself in stamps, basically. Because what I do is I just reinvest any donations back into my business and get more stamps to show off more techniques. So now something I did this afternoon, guys, was I used, I cheated, you know, this circle one that you're meant to only use for this one. I actually used it on these because I couldn't be bothered to try and figure out how to set it up. So I'm going to cheat again. I'm going to use yellow. Oh, Martina, I heard about that derailing. Oh, so tragic. Yeah. Yeah, so sad. So if no one's heard the news, there was a, a train got derailed in Scotland today. Very, very sad. Sadly, there were some fatalities. 
and just lots hospitalised. So. Right, put those yellow. See, it's really making it pop now, isn't it, with the yellow in there? So cute. Now I'm going to keep this yellow open because I'd like to put more yellow somewhere else, but I'm not quite sure where. So, ah, what about this lovely feather? That would be nice, wouldn't it? To have that as a bit of a... Not everywhere, just the odd little feather. Hi, Vicky. Yeah, they think it was like a mud slide or, you know, the rains affected the, I guess, the, the track. Right, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to clean off a bit of this feather because I don't want it so long. There we go. Right. So... If you know that you don't want your feather to be so big, what I do is I ink it at the corner there. See? So I know that that has got a bit of a point on it now. So it means that if I spot an area that it will tuck into, I can go in there and it's already ready to go. Does that make sense? I'll do it again. So here... So I can actually even see the ink has not gone all the way down. So I can tuck it in to a spot there like that. Hi Glenna, nice to see you. So Bree, just remind me where you're from again. I know you've probably said. But I've forgotten. Right, so I've got a yellow, I've got feathers there, feathers there, feathers there, feathers there, there. Um, oh. Might do a couple there. Because so I try not to be symmetrical, but I do like to be balanced. Uh, there. There we go. Right, that'll be it for the yellow. So as I'm using these colours, I'm kind of putting them aside and going, right, next colour. Because otherwise I'm going to keep going back to certain ones. I'm just keeping Misty Moonlight just in case. That might be useful for some splatters later. Right, now I've got some Granny Apple Green. I've also got a lot of these warmer colours here that I haven't used yet. And I'm thinking that would be handy for some flo like smaller florals so i'm going to just grab oh maybe a leaf Let's, oh we've got this one here those there we've got framed for you which is a fabulous little got these lovely little flowers on it i'm wondering if i could fit a rose i might do I might be able to squeeze one on you know me more is more love putting lots on a sheet Pumpkin pie. I think I'm going to go with terracotta tile. Now this might make or break this. <laughs> we'll see what happens, eh? Oh, looking quite dark at the moment, but it always does, doesn't it? It always looks dark when these first go on. quite a juicy ink pad and I know it will calm down I know I've just got to keep keep going because sometimes it can feel a bit scary doing this just keep stamping just keep stamping oh I'm not sure about this oh <laughs> Well, I've done it now, haven't I? 
okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm wondering whether to put some of these in somewhere. That same colour, but because I know this this leafy florally thing, it sort of it starts light and goes dark, so it gives a very different. Um, it's a very soft effect. So oh, let's try this going in there and there. And and there. Oh, not sure I should have done that. Never mind. Done it now. Not there, there. So let's have a look. Um, so the reason why I'm hesitant is because now I've done those big bits of cinnamon cider, no, terracotta tile, I feel like when I look at it, all I can see are these blobs, these massive blobs of colour. So I'm trying to get draw your eye away from the big blobs um, by using exactly the same colour, but a slightly different texture and a different shape. So that's what I'm trying to do just to explain my thinking. Ooh. Got a child dropping things upstairs. Right, my, this is my battery and my laptop's running low, so I'm gonna close my laptop down. And, um, switch that off, shut down. I'll just get you guys on my phone. Okay, so I've got that going there, that there, that there. I think I feel I feel like I need to draw the eye out a little bit here, down. I've, I've, I sort of miss this area a bit. Okay, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic. I've still got other colours to go on here yet. So let's get the lovely daisy-like stamp from frame for you and I'm going to put away terracotta tile because you've upset me today terracotta tile <sighs> but you might be redeemed so we'll see what pumpkin pie does let's get, get the YouTube up on my phone because otherwise I'm going to miss your comments <clears throat> So who has done a One Sheet Wonder today? I know a few of you have. And we've had some new members over at Artful Stampin' Space. So which has been great. Maybe something next to the three blue flowers on top. Okay. Three blue. Something up here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, something needs to go in there, I know for sure, but I'm not going to stamp a flower right in the middle of there. Let's just get some of these little orange flowers stamped on. So I'm kind of looking for the gaps. I'm doing three. Just seems to work. Doing three. There. One. Two, three. You've got wiggly bags to make, Christine. You have to tell us more. You can't just, you know, put out a comment like that and not explain yourself. What's a wiggly bag? We all want to know now. Okay, I think that's pretty nicely spaced. I'll just squeeze an extra one there. And one there. They are for the tubes in the chest they use for chemo. Sorry, you asked long. No, no, I'm genuinely um, interested. I thought it was something medical, but I wasn't sure. So is it just so that they don't get 
tangled up, I guess. Oh, that's lovely, Linda. Oh, Steph's been sorting technology. That can be tricky, can't it? Right. I've got Bumblebee here that I haven't used yet, and I've got Cinnamon Cider. Now, I feel like we need some delicate leafage in here now. So... I don't know whether just to stamp that lovely leaf. I'm totally in love with this leaf at the moment. Ah, there we go. I thought so, Christine. Oh, I'm sure it, it, it just helps to know that you're doing something that's going to be useful and helpful. See why I love this leaf so much? It's just so adorable. So adorable. And because it's distinctive, you get it's not like a full on force of solid colour. It sort of fades. It's beautiful. Yes, I've still got Granny Apple Green to go yet, people. That'll be a moment, won't it? Now the question will be, do I cut it up? I know some of you get a bit panicky when I suggest things like that. Just drop it. <laughs> I've just put that on um, Artful Stamping Space. Someone said, oh, I had to go doing something. Was it Deb? Deb, are you on? Deb Borton. I think she shared something and um, she was like, oh, we're not sure about it. And I've gone, drop it, drop it. <laughs> so I'm getting a taste of my own advice here. Because you know I say to you, just drop it. You'll be fine. Oh, hello. Hi, um, Susan, isn't it? Great to see you. Yes, please do give it a go. And don't give yourself the pressure of doing it for any particular reason. Just do it just to enjoy yourself, you know, and then decide, do I want to even share it with somebody? Just do it for you. So, Right, I feel like I need some more colour inside these and I'm wondering if I'm uh, just going to have a look at all the stamps I've got here I'm wondering if a little bit of this yellow sort of cross hatched in the middle might just work Yes, I think we've got a mutual appreciation society in here for Wow Nola videos. If you guys don't follow Wow Nola Creations, I am sure you will just love her work. I do. Um, so please go check out Susan's stuff. Thanks. Why do I think it's Suzanne? No, I don't know why got it in my head ignore me okay so I'm sort of faux colouring in the centres of these and I don't want super bold amount of yellow so I'm glad I've done it this way and then I might think about adding some more in a second so I'm just building it up by doing that little bit of cross hatching I'm wondering if I could take it would take a yellow flower because it won't hopefully it won't look obviously like the yellow oh, 
that flower shape because it's more just to get that yellow on there. It's just to try and get a bit of contrast between the blue. Not sure if it's working. But... Okay. Um, rum, 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 rum. I want to do some more bumblebees. Oh, we've got little flowers. Little flowers. Or we could do yellow leaves. I could just ignore doing granny apple green. I almost feel that might spoil it a bit. So I might just do some little yellow little yellow leaves. Here and there. Yes, Susan is the queen of fancy folds. Yep. But so good at explaining them. Like, with some things that you watch, you think you're going to get your knickers in a twist, if you know what I mean. But Susan explains it very step by step. So please do subscribe to her channel. Don't go just yet though. <laughs> Wait for me to finish. You want to see how this ends up, don't you? <laughs> oh dear, I'm in a cheeky mood tonight, guys. This is quite nice, these little tufts of yellow. Need one there. Oh, night stuff! You're gonna go and have a lukewarm shower. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yes, Deborah. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Susan. Sweet thing to say. Hey, Janine. Who are we subscribing to now? Janine, I would be surprised if you're not already subscribed to Wow Nola Creations. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. I would have to say, Janine, where have you been? Come on now. I mean, you've been an American demo. Right, 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 right. I've got cinnamon cider sitting off here. Yes. Yes, Jen. Susan Lavassa from Wow Nola Creations. Janine's been under a rock, yeah, probably. Right, so I think it's time for the splatter. Let's do we do the little one, see what happens. <coughs> okay, so I can see already there's this massive kind of like gap there that I want to cover up. So in with the speckled stump there and have that trailing a little bit. You don't have to put it everywhere. See what I'm doing. I'm kind of like creating these sort of little swathes. I like that word, swathes of sprinkles on my work. So it's a bit like, you know, they talk about when you garden, when you create a garden, you, you plant in swathes. So it's similar to this, really. Kind of. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you, do you want me to come a bit closer? Yes, that's what you need. And if you guys love doing Christmassy stuff, I'm going to mention it because Ellen's on at the moment. 
Ellen and Esther are running the Christmas Stampathon 2020. So if you want a bit of Christmas inspiration, they are putting out a challenge every 25th of the month. Just to help you get creating and, and stuff. Love the dots. It's all about the dots. There we go. I don't know if I'm still terribly happy with that blue, the, these. Um. Oh, I've just noticed I've got dots in here as well. Oh, I know what I'll do. I think it's because this flower is so different to those ones. I need something that's got like an open... Oh, that is a line drawing. <clears throat> because there's nothing else on here that is just a line drawing. I found just the ticket, as they say. Just the ticket. <clears throat> uh, just go to Facebook and Christmas Stampathon 2020. Just type that in and you can join the group. Don't say that, Ruth. They'll cry. What the stamps? Okay, so I'm going in with the Misty Moonlight, which is what I stamped the flowers in. And so the reason I'm doing this is just to create a bit of balance to the picture. Because, as I said, there's nothing really else on here that's open. Open line drawing. So I'm just trying to redress that, really. So that your eye is not kind of like pulled in a silly way to just these. Still not happy with that centre. I need to do something else to that. Hi, Jennifer Miller. Hi Lynn Turner from New Zealand, good to have you here. Oh, Deborah's late. Oh, back of the class, Deborah. Okay, I'm feeling happier now. Just feels a little bit more balanced. Got to do something about that. I know you guys are probably thinking, what is she on about? Why is she going on about that little space over there? It just bugs me. It does. So I'm going to use that little flower. Hang my head and trudging to the back. Yes, Deborah. Got to go and do some lines. I mustn't be late for Ruth's class. No, it's fine, Deborah. That's the great thing about YouTube, though. You can catch up with me, you know, whenever you want, really. In your own, you know, time and comfort and whatever. So, it's all good. Oh, I love these flowers. Ooh. Okay, now I know this might just look absolute overkill now because I've put so much stuff on this plate plate on this um, sheet but you know me I can't do well I sometimes can do minimal 
I thought I did quite well on Monday, actually. I did minimal on Monday. So, there we go. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> right. I think I'm happy with that. Anybody else got anything to say about it? Just check it works all the way around. Yeah, I'm definitely much happier now with those lines in. Close up, extreme close up. Oh, squeaky arm. Great job. Cut it. <laughs> right, let me take a quick picture of it then. So I'm going to cut it up. Oh, I just remember Deborah Mitchum's in. She doesn't like it when I cut things up. Okay, thanks for your patience, guys. Just need to record that. Yes, don't tell Deborah. Deborah, shut your eyes. I think it's on par with the Ruth standard. Thank you. <laughs> Now I've quite enjoyed cutting out, getting to a point where I've got a middle, but I've just realised that's not actually super centred, is it? Hmm. So I'm cutting this down at 10 centimetres. And then I think I'll go cut this at 10 centimetres as well. And I'm wondering whether to try and get a long card out of this. I think that might be fun. And then a square out of the rest of it. Whereas these ones are just going to make really great A6, kind of pretty standard size cards. So if you guys in America, just cut this up to your standard card size. So, uh, standard sized card so that's sort of four and a quarter by five and a half isn't it so yeah so if you cut this down to four and maybe this to five and I don't know five and a quarter you've then got a matting layer to do that okay so I'm actually going to cut that in the middle I wish I could cut if I cut it at six inches, that is smack bang in the middle because it's a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So if I turn that round now, because I, I want to get rid of the big pieces that don't really have much stamping on. So I turn that round, put it in at 14.35-ish. And so that for me is the standard UK size. So there we go. Got two lovely card fronts that can be used. Now this is the interesting one. I'm thinking I'm going to cut this at, just move that out of the way, put my blade back in. Sorry, does it have to be eight? Uh, sorry, what are you guys asking? Does it have to be centred? No, not necessarily. So I'm going to go with this at 20 and a half because I like the idea of that being like a long card maybe I should have pushed to cut that off as well but anyway 
that will be fine. And then we've got that piece there that would just look great in the middle of a square card. So that's th those ones. Now this one... Um, Hi, Cindy. I grip my teeth when you cut the one sheet wonder, says Glenna. I'm wondering just to cut a little bit off this end and make this into a thinner piece. Because I don't actually have that much stamping there, do I? So that's cut that down to eight and a half. Yeah, so if you look at a previous one that I cut up, it just so, just so happened that the, the centre of the wreath was like in the centre of the cardstock. So when I cut it out, I ended up with a bit of a um, border going around the, that one. Let's see if I can find it for you to show you. Oh, here it is, this one. So this piece here was right in the middle. So it ended up with lots of little bits kind of coming onto it. So that just seemed to work well. Whereas the one I've just done, it, I, I was off centre, so it didn't work as well. Right, so those would just look great as card fronts. Let's grab some colours and um, see what these look like on a card base. So I think that would look nice with maybe some blue behind it to matte and layer and actually maybe a bit more cut off at the top there. Oh, I haven't got any midnight news cut. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. So that's Seaside Spray. Then what have we got here? Terracotta tile. I'm not sure no, what else. Oranges. Yeah, I haven't quite got those cut out either. Never mind. This is just to give you an idea of what it looks like with a bit of a base behind it. So you can see see how it looks. And that's my long one. Definitely haven't got a base for that right now. But if I grab one that I did, this is an old one. I just pop that in the middle. That needs a bit of a trim, but there we go. Anyway, that just gives you an idea of the length of that one. And then we just got that square one. So one, two, three, four, five, six cards in. How long have I been going? Oh, 48 minutes. That's not too bad, is it? So less than an hour and you can create six cards. Now, if you want to go ahead and embellish those even more, you can do. Personally, I think you've done all the hard work doing all that amazing stamping. So I wouldn't want to put too much embellishment on that, apart from maybe a sentiment. And um, See, now this one, look, you've got the perfect spot there for a sentiment, haven't you? I might just cut that down a bit further, though. Cut it down, because I think there's too much white space on that side there. Should I do that? I'll put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to cut a centimetre off that side. And probably a centimetre and a half off that side. <sighs> what the fact that I took a photo makes you feel better. Then I've got a nice slither there that you can decorate the inside of your card with. There we go. Perfect, and then yeah, you can just 
have that on the inside just decorate down the side there like that it's nice to carry on that theme or decorate the envelope you could do that as well so. and it doesn't matter that you've got bits of flowers cut off whatever it doesn't you know it doesn't matter really it looks fine right there we go guys um cutting the stamps makes me swoon <laughs> yeah so, um, thank you, Jennifer. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. And I'm just going to flip the camera because I've got a bit of time to say hello. Although I can't figure out what to press. Oh, there we go. Hello. Yes, don't talk to Deborah about cutting stamps. She has a little bit of a episode. You're welcome, Gina. Thank you for coming. I'm going to finish off my coffee. Oh, I've tra started trying to do the intermittent fasting thing. So it got to like, I don't know, half eight. And I was like, I felt really good. I was like, right, I stopped eating at half seven. I'm not going to eat until 12 tomorrow. And then my husband had a piece of, I made courgette cake today with my son. And I was watching my husband eat the courgette cake. And I was just like, mm, no, no, I'm not going to do it. So I thought, I just want flavour in my mouth. I just, I'm a flavour girl. I love flavour. So I've had a decaf black coffee because I think you're just about allowed that. Because there's no, there's no calories in a black coffee, is there? So the, the coffee is just enough to make me go, hmm. Oh, my taste buds are going. I can cope with that. It, am I being silly? Just tell me if I'm being silly. Uh, what did Martina say? Stamping is the easy part, but then how to chop it up and then the big problem with sentiment. And what kind of embellishment? I just don't bother putting embellishment on Martina generally. I do occasionally. But if, if, if you find yourself having to think about it too hard, it probably means you don't need an embellishment. So I would leave it. The recipient of the card has no idea it's a part of a greater piece. Yeah, that's true. Unless it's one of you lot. I usually have decaf chai tea for the flavour. Oh, there you go. I'm not being silly. Thank you, Cindy. Um, not silly. I know the feeling. Like sucking on a mint or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've never been one to sort of make a big thing about, you know, losing weight. I just thought, if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to do it quietly, but with friends. You do intermittent fasting, Deborah. Much easier living alone. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't got a husband waving courgette cake in front. Hi, Linda Wardlow. Law. Yes, I am quite prolific. I some of them go to my customers. That's amazing, Janine. Um, some go to customers. Some go to friends. Some get bagged up and sold. And some just get given away. Yeah. Yeah, that was my problem, quarantine. I was doing more baking. And I've been moving less. I'm just moving less. Awful. So, yeah. I might. Yeah, I do sometimes sell them, Deborah. It's just finding a big market for it to do it easily and quickly, really. So... Yeah, I I want to help do some fundraising for the Red Cross or Tear Fund for Beirut. So I, I'm thinking I might sell some for that. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not saying I'm super duper overweight. It's just I know that there's certain clothes I can't get in and I just feel it. So I, I just know where I'm happiest and um, I'm... You know, you know you're in body, don't you? Right, lovely to see you all. 
and um, hopefully it was tomorrow, Thursday. Oh, Thursday already. And uh, now, ah, oh, the other day when I was stamping, I, I remembered I promised that I would do something. So I know I said something about using the jelly plate again, but I thought I really must write down my promises because otherwise people are going to say, you said you'd do this and you didn't do it. So I'm trying to remember what it was. Was it something to do with colours or something? I can't remember what it was. Can, can someone remind me? You heard me promise something. Um, yeah, it was something to do with the Lavinia stamps. Um, yes, Deborah, oh, I must. Okay, Zoom classes, I'll do that now, Zoom classes, and um, yeah, I was going to do different colours, because I did them in the greens and the browns yesterday, didn't I, in the blue, or Monday, the blue, so if you haven't seen that video, if you want to see Ruth do sort of clean and simple, then check that out. Zoom classes and jelly plate. And I thought it was something about, oh, what was it called? Monotone. Monochrom monochromatic. Yes. Blues. There we go. Uh, monochromatic. Chromatic. Monochromatic. Um, blending. Yeah. Just to, oh, with nature's nature's beauty wasn't it yeah because I had it on my desk but yeah I didn't use it that way okay nature's beauty yeah this afternoon I used the oh I'll show you what I made right that'll be it and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you what I did this afternoon because you've got some of you guys couldn't see it and then I'm gonna go right I'm gonna bring that on that on and that Right. I'm just going to set it up so that you can see what I did. Get this in the right. Okay, so this was the last one that I did. So let's get you flippity rude. Oops, I. Okay, so that was the last one. And this was much, very much about the blues. Now, you guys, have, those of you who followed me for a while, you have seen me do this at least twice, if not three times, uh, this style with beautiful friendship. But it's just always a pleasure to stamp with that set because it's always different. And then I use the waterfront splatters and I use the stacked stone. Okay, so that was yummy scrummy to do. Then the first one I did was this one with the gorgeous grape and the flowers from Floor Essence, the little pink flowers from Framed For You, little purple flowers framed for you. And guys, do you recognise this texture stamp? This one here. Do you recognise it? Have you seen have you seen it in the catalogue? Do you know what it is? Can you see? Do you know what that one's from? <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. It's not a stamp. It's bubble wrap. So I grabbed a piece of bubble wrap because Liz, who's our demonstrator manager in the UK, she doesn't have any texture stamps. So I went to my, what's it called? Scrap, uh, bag of oh anyway envelopes padded envelopes and I um ripped it open of course it's got bubble wrap 
So I just did that, dunked it in crumb cake, and then voila, you have fabulous backgrounds. Oh, the little lines. No, Linda, little lines are, yeah, you're right, framed for you. No, bubble wrap for the brown background. Okay. So I thought that was ingenious. <laughs> I've seen it done before on other YouTube videos, but I've never used it myself. So, Right, and then this was the second piece. And I did do another wreath. I really enjoyed this. And it was all kind of like autumnal colours. So, you know, cinnamon cider, terracotta tile, bumblebee, daffodil delight in the background and pumpkin pie. And you spot the little tree from Nature's Beauty, that one there. That's what I did these little ferny things with. So, oh my goodness, love that, says Mary. There we go. Yeah, my favourite, says Glenna. So there we go. That's why all those stamps were on my desk today because I did that this afternoon with the UK demonstrators. And you know what? They have been creating away this afternoon and sharing pictures of what they've done. Amazing. Amazing. So it's been great. Really good fun. And, you know, what I said to Susan earlier about just having a go and doing it for you. You know, I think sometimes as demonstrators, and this is exactly what my demonstrator manager said today, is that you can get into a bit of a... You can, you can just be creating, like, for workshops and classes and things like that, and then you forget to actually do a little bit of playtime just for you to just enjoy the process. So I think that's what a few demonstrators discover today, actually, that it's OK just to stamp and have fun and, and love it and share it and whatever, because it's very hard to share something you don't love, you know, so... I use that trick to using a tree for a wreathy thingy. Good, Martina. I have taught you well. <laughs> well done, my little padwan. <laughs> Can you tell I've been watching Star Wars too much? Right. Yes, my I've got to go as well. So lovely to have you all. And um, lovely to see you all. Not have you all. Have you in my craft room. And I'll catch you guys again soon. Lots of love. Take care for now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Bye.